We're at a wildlife safari, so there's some animals, some elk, and some awesome wildlife around me. I'm shooting with the Fuji 100 to 400 on the X-T4. I've also got my macro with me. And uh, let's get some pictures of this elk. What I'm trying to do is just frame up these amazing horns. It's uh, laying on the ground and we got elk around it. And I'm also trying to avoid getting the cars that sometimes appear in the background. So let's give it a shot. I got a couple of shots of the elk that I think are gonna work. I'm also looking for some Baltimore Orioles. They're supposed to be around here, but birds have a way of seeing me and hearing me from a mile away. That's why I guess people get blinds and all that stuff, but I don't have patience for that. So I'm just trying to find a Baltimore Oriole anywhere in the park. So we're also gonna look for those guys. The 100 to 400 is awesome in situations like this because you get to pick out details in the background. I think uh, 100 to 400 is a fantastic landscape lens that allows you to, to really get close to stuff. So there's this little field of mostly weeds, but you could go and find little pockets of beauty to pick out and really kind of capture uh, with the ability of the 100 to 400 to separate the background when you're that, when you're that well, far out, it's pretty sweet. Out of the car, walking around. I've still gotten the, still have the 100 to 400. And I'm just kind of picking out more details and looking at bright stuff in the foreground and the darkness in the background in order to make that bright stuff stand out a little bit. got a chickadee that I'm, I'm tracking. Chickadees are pretty cool. The reason I know it's a chickadee is because my mom used to take me to, this, to the forest all the time and she'd tell me about some of the birds and the chickadee was always one of my favorites. Uh, these things hanging from the branches upside down and stuff, it's pretty sweet. I'm gonna see if I can get a couple good shots. Well, I think I got a couple cool shots of the chickadee, so that's good. But then a couple families came by with a bunch of kids and, and caused chaos. And all the birds ran away, but that's cool. Kids are out enjoying nature, it's all good. I switched to the 80 millimeter macro. So now it's time to get even closer and look at some more details uh, and see what I can find as far as maybe some color, something different, we'll see. So one quick tip, if you're new to shooting with the 100 to 400 with the macro where you're kind of dealing with narrow range of focus and there might be stuff in front of what you're taking the photo of is to um, put your camera on manual focus, dial that in close enough to what you're trying to get and then engage the autofocus. And that's usually enough with the Fuji X-T4 at least and the X-Pro3 and most of the newer Fuji cameras to actually then lock on really solid really well with whatever it is that you want to lock focus on and then your autofocus kind of sticks to that spot and you can isolate whatever you're trying to to isolate to get a cool shot of back in the car let's go see what the buffalo are doing Ha <laughs> 
But first I see a couple turtles. Turtles are hilarious, they crack me up. I think they're just like super angry all the time. I have no idea why. But I always get a shot or two of the turtles, right? You gotta do it. Buffalo! Buffalo are tough because they're big blobs of darkness, but I think uh, I might be able to make this work because the sky is kind of overcast, but it's a bright overcast, so there's a lot of light, so this is going to work out. I don't think I'm made for wildlife photography too much because I don't have patience. I'm mostly getting their butts and them walking away. The birds are off exhibit because of the avian flu, but the geese have now taken over. And those guys are crazy. I'm still looking for those Baltimore Orioles. I have not seen one yet. These suckers are hard to find. Even look at those big orange bellies. Where the heck are they? All right, I'm about to leave, but I remember that uh, there's a little cup of grape jelly by the visitor center. So I might be able to get a Baltimore Oriole who loves grape jelly, which I think is a bad idea. Don't eat the grape jelly Baltimore Orioles. That sounds bad, but uh, you know, I guess they're, they're birds that can do what they want. We got a little shot of the Baltimore Oriole. It's not a great shot. And I got a couple other birds that were trying to get in on that grape jelly action. Uh, but I think overall, this was a fun little trip. Got a couple great shots. A couple good shots, not great. Great that's thrown around too much, I think, especially by me. But good shots and I had fun. Taking some pictures, walking around. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you later.